ஹவுஸ் ஃப்ரெண்ட் எலிவேஷன் ஐடியாஸ் ஃபார் யூர் ஸ்மால் பிளாட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு ஆர்கிடெக்சர் ப்ராட்காஸ்ட் த பிளேஸ் வேர் த ஃபியூச்சர் ஆர்கிடெக்ட் கம்ஸ் டு கெட் இன்ஸ்பயர் இஃப் யூ ஹேவ் நாட் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் தேட் யூ ஆர் மிஸ்ஸிங் ஹவ் ஐ டிசைடட் டு மேக் திஸ் வீடியோ பிகாஸ் மெனி பீப்புள் வேர் ஆஸ்கிங் மீ அபவுட் ஹவு டு பில்ட் அமேசிங் ஃப்ரண்ட் எலிவேஷன் டிசைன் வென் யூ ஹேவ் அ ஸ்மால் பிளாட் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ ஐ வில் ஷேர் மை நாலேஜ் அண்ட் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் அபவுட் த டிஃப்ரெண்ட் டைப் ஆஃப் ஃபசார் டிசைன் ஐ அப்சர்வ் தட் ஆல்மோஸ்ட் ஆல் ஆர்கிடெக் காமன்லி யூஸ் இன் இண்டியா அண்ட் பை அப்சர்விங் திஸ் பில்டிங் ஐ டிவைட் அ டிஃப்ரெண்ட் கைண்ட் ஆஃப் ஃப்ரெண்ட் elevation into 15 categories after watching the video you will understand what kind of front elevation your client wants if you don't come from a designer background then this video will be useful when you want to build your own house and i'll show you how to build a beautiful facade for your two or three story house even if you have a small plot and you can also combine construction materials such as wood concrete steel stone tiles and also you can use construction elements such as dali and glazed glass to achieve a great result so without further ado let's get Get into the video. The most common front elevation I observe is modern design. In this kind of elevation, the use of large window and tempered glass railing on balconies are seen in facade design. And we can also add elements such as wood to give it more warmer style. And the second type of elevation is combining angular shape and concrete texture. You can use texture in construction materials such as concrete or brick to provide a original and contemporary finish. And the third type is solid and balanced structure. In this type of front elevation and you can use rectangular shapes with projections and ceiling with opening that generate a beautiful shape brick and reinforced concrete allows this creation as you can see this is a picture right and the fourth one is facade with harmony of volumes you can use elements such as gardens or balconies suspended in air can radically change the style of your facade if implemented with careful selection of right plans and the fifth type of front elevation you can see is simplicity of form with pure form there is no loss in design and you can even use perforated blocks and textured walls without losing the symmetry of the whole and the sixth type is facade for independent floors when you are working on apartments usually the stairs are exposed in elevation of the building so one way to control the privacy is to partially cover them with metal rods or wood and the seventh type is harmonious and elegant facade design if you are looking for an elegant style and neutral color and soft texture should be applied to the front of your house then it will create a large opening for entry of nature light into your building and the eighth type of front elevation I, i observe is like nature and light is integrated into the design if you take nature into account in facade you have already managed to harmonize with the environment to a large extent the structure could simply complement the design the ninth type of front elevation i observe is predominant lattice or jalis if you don't want to share your room's interior to your opposite building neighbors for your privacy or security reasons or in case there is no good views available outside of your building then you can then the front part can be covered with the art of using jali walls and the 10th type is style with few constructive elements you can do total facade renovation or small face uplift you must seek harmony and balance of material keeping in mind the aim should be like it should be illuminated naturally and even you can use focus lighting in the elevations and the 11th one is pure form for great result in, in this type of category i found that building facade are in the pure form and in this kind of facade you will not find any rough texture in front elevation of the building and the 12th type is highlighting the elements of on the facade the element applied to the facade must fulfill the function rather than decoration it should not be just placed for a decorative element for example if you see this image you can see the jolly walls that filters the sunlight and controls the privacy and at the same time it's a decorative object and you can even change the jolly colors and experiment with your own ideas and the 15th last but not the least facade that provides protection covering the windows doors of the house with a lattice is a constant when it comes to protecting a house and the, however the other constructive elements that can be used or combined for a better result if you see this building the facade has two angular planes that intersect in the center although it gives a rhythm to the structure we have to see how the main aspect of the design is solved and and these are the things i i observed and if you know any of the facade type that i missed it out do let me know in the comment section below and if you are a architect students you, you can immediately go and grab the free catch up and revit components from our website and if you want us to design your house you can go to architecture broadcast slash service there you can contact us our team will catch you up within 24 hours and if you are a student and if you are searching for sheet inspiration go and check archipedia it is the india's largest thesis archive where you can find 
hundreds of seeds for your inspiration and thanks for all your love and support with you guys we are almost to 2000 subscriber right now maybe by the time you see this video the subscriber could have gone more than 2000 and i'm really grateful for a beautiful community in our channel and if you want some personal updates regarding architecture or in design you can join the telegram group i have placed the link in the description below that's all for today video guys and we will see you back with another video soon